Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do a new prospect. We're going to do Waterfall Expedition. Uh, it's a three-skull difficulty. We have seven days to do it, um, and it's going to... First of all, I heard uh, from a friend of mine on the multiplayer server that this is actually a really fun mission to do. Um, and secondly, it's going to open up Payday Extraction, which is the big mission that opens up exotics to us, uh, and most likely we'll do this next. All right, so let's see what this is about. There's been a development. UDA are pushing Lagos hard to open up new parts of the Terra Zone for prospecting. But almost no one's come back from up there, so on the ground data is non existent and no drop zones yet. That's where you come in. They need someone experienced to find a way into the region. Should be plenty of resources. But who knows what else is roaming around up there. You up for this one? Okay, so it says large scale construction may be required to surmount geographic obstacles. Very interesting. So yeah, that uh, I, I heard there's going to be some climbing uh, in this in this one. So this sounds interesting. Let's do it. All right, we get 175 credits for it too, and. We have seven days. We got all of our stuff on us. Um, and let's touch down. I'll see you guys on the planet. Normally, Legos would get their own people to open up new areas. They like to get in first. But they've been losing folk left, right, and center. So, here we are. At least the goal's simple. Just get there and plant a beacon for supply pods. Destination's on the map. Tricky part is, doesn't look like there's any natural pathways. So maybe you're gonna have to make one. But first, you gotta get there. Don't let me hold you up. Grab a beacon and get going. Okay, that sounds interesting. Let's take a look at our map here. And it uh, looks like that's where we need to go. Does that mean that's where the beacon is? He said grab a beacon. Is there, is there one in here? Nope. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming we go over there and grab a beacon. So, um, my thought here is I, I haven't, and by the way, if this isn't already obvious based upon what I've said to you guys so far, I don't know anything about this mission. I was just told it was a lot of fun. Um, by a friend of mine, but I've never watched anybody else on YouTube do it. Haven't done it myself. We haven't done it on multiplayer, so it's uh, going to be uh, you know fresh, fresh experience. So I guess the first thing we're going to do is go down here and fill up our canteen, and we might want to. I might want to hang out here for just a little bit and gear up somewhat uh, before we take off. Um, you know, just make a, a real basic shack. You know, get to the longbow at least. If there is a mine in the area. Uh, oh, look at that. Well, not a mine, a cave. Well, doggone it. Maybe we should work our way up to, you know, to iron uh, stuff too, since we do have a cave right here. And then once that's done, uh, we will take off. And of course, you know, whatever main base we end up building, it's not going to be here. This is just going to be for us to get started. All right, guys. So again, you know the drill. I will bring you back when I'm ready to set out uh, and do this quest. See you in a bit. We are pretty much ready to roll, so um, I have set up a little base in this cave here. And this cave is enormous, by the way. There's no worms in it, at least none that I've found. And it just goes way, way back there, and there's tons of ore and stuff. Um, but since it's not near the location that we're going to build our our base, actual base, I didn't want to get uh, too much going in here. Basically, just got iron tools going. Um, so let's go ahead and repair that. And I've got some squash cooking up in here, so we got a couple stacks of that going. And we have plenty of meat. We got cooked fish that we got out of the uh, of the lake there. And um, yeah, we're about pretty much about ready to set out. Okay, so that gives us two stacks of squash. Um, I guess we can just put the cooked fish back in there. We don't need to take all of this stuff with us, anyways. Uh, I want to top off my oxygen here. Because I wasn't able to originally fill it all the way up. 
Uh, where did it go? There. Okay, so let's get that topped off. And yeah, we should be good to go. So I've just been making epoxy in here uh, with the extra bones since we're using flint arrows now. And I don't think we really need to take any of this stuff with us. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it all behind. We will take the iron and we will definitely take the anvil though because the anvil is ex somewhat expensive to make. It takes 40 ingots to make this thing. So we're taking it with us. Plus we can set it down and repair tools if we need to along the way. And um, we don't, don't think we need to take all this sulfur either. Uh, so let's put, we'll take one stack of sulfur with us. And wood, uh, we don't need the, the raw meat there. We'll take one thing of leather. Uh, let's actually split up these bones and make just a little bit more epoxy with them before we take off. Oh, you can make, um, yeah, let's have you make a poison paste too. And let's have you make a poison paste. Here I thought I was ready to go and there's more stuff to do. Okay, so let's eat this squash right now. And we'll have a fish and a meat. And that gets us three buffs. Uh, there's no, I, I mean, I don't think there's any yeast in the desert or... Technically, by the way, guys, this is actually not the desert. This is the canyon lens that we're in. Um, it's a desert type of environment, but I guess it's the canyon lens. It's not the actual desert, which is down more into the south east, uh, no, southwest part of the map. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, there's there's no yeast here, so that means I can't make any antibiotic ointment. Uh, not ointment, uh, elixir, whatever it's called. So, yeah, I've got pneumonia once or twice and can't do a damn thing about it, which sucks. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, the desert, or I'm sorry, the forest is not anywhere near us. Um, it's all the way down here, so that would be one heck of a long run to try and get back down there just for that stuff. So we're making do, man. We are making do. Okay, so let's grab the poison paste. Let's make a uh, couple more things of epoxy uh, from both of these guys. And we could probably make even yet an another one with the rest of that bone meal okay so we'll grab that uh, we're leaving the rest of that stuff in there let's get our uh, full air tank put that in okay i think we're good to go we don't need to take all this leather with us the one thing i guess we could do before we leave is we could make some leather armor from the, with the textiles bench. Yeah, why don't we do that, actually? Should have thought of that first before I started the camera, but I didn't. So, yeah, let me get um, some more stuff for that. I have to go back and look at <laughs> what we needed to get. <laughs> I forgot already. Oh, it sucks being old, you guys. Uh, what, are we, what are we doing? We're doing the textiles bench, which is here. So we need sticks and stone. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go get some sticks and stone. Severe desert winds. All right, great. I guess we're not setting out right away anyway. Stupid Icarus storms, man. Hate them things. Ah, but it's part of the experience. Oh, excuse me. Uh, part of the experience, isn't it? All right, let's get back in. We'll get our leather armor made up. If we travel at night, it does get cold in the desert, so the leather armor is going to be useful for that, but we're making it more just for the armor itself. That hyena is probably going to attack us. You doity rant. Um, I put my MXC tools back in the pod. They're pretty much used up anyway. So that actually worked out that our pod's right near where we first started out because now I don't have to carry them around for the whole rest of the prospect. All right, so let's just make some more bone paste from those bones. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's get the longbow repaired too. And then we're going to make the textiles bench. 
And we should have plenty of materials to make the leather armor with that. All right, what are you doing? You're not doing anything. Um, so you got all my fish cooked, okay, and a little bit more squash. All right, we don't need any of the rest of that stuff. Okay, let's grab this. And we'll put it right here is good enough. Let's get all the leather out of here. And uh, I don't remember what else it's going to want. I think leather and fiber. Okay, so let's make a set of this. What are we short? Fiber. Ah, doggone it. All right, let's go grab some fiber. Storm's not going to be nice. But we got to get some fiber here. Oh, we should probably fix this too. Is it storming out here? It says it's severe winds, but it doesn't seem to be all that severe. Something seems a little buggy, I think. Uh, we don't need any more squash. Hmm, that's suspicious. I mean, we are getting the storm exposure, we're just not getting the sound effects. I don't want to get too far away from the cave either, especially with the, the red part coming up. But, I've harvested most of the fiber in this immediate vicinity is the problem. Well, let's go back in because the red part's coming up. I think something's just a little buggy here. We'll make um, whatever we can with the bit of fiber that we did get. See, now I hear the wind. Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Okay, anyway, uh, let's put that fiber in there. So we'll make the chest next. And the legs next. And the feet next. And we just need to make the arm pieces now. Once we can get a little more fiber. Oh, you know what? We can we can actually uh, scrap the, this stuff for fiber. That's what we'll do. Okay, yeah, so destroy. Destroy, 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 and destroy. There, that should give us enough to make the arms. There we go. Okay, so we are uh, fully armored up with leather armor, which is great. Uh, we're going to put... I'm going to keep one thing of fiber with us for the road. And the rest of this stuff doesn't matter. Let's keep one thing of sulfur with this. It is around, but it's not... doesn't seem to be quite as easy to find as it does in the forest biome. Unless I've just been really unlucky with it. I don't know. We'll keep a little bit of wood. We don't need this. I want to move my food stuff up here. Okay, so we got all of that. And I think we should be just about ready to rock and roll here. Let's put this back down for a second and just top off uh, repairs on that and that and this. That's so weird that it uses so much stamina when you do that. It almost seems like it's not supposed to be that way. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, there's nothing in there that we need... There's nothing in here that we need, and nothing in there that we need. Except for that one full stack of fiber. I guess we could just top this off one last time, because we can. Uh, we want to turn you into epoxy. And take it. 
The rest of that stuff can stay, and that stuff can stay. All right, I think we're ready to set out. The storm is just about ready to abate. Um, we're taking two stacks of meat. We might as well take two stacks of meat. Let's put this stuff up here just so it's sort of kind of in the same place. And that still leaves us quite a bit of room for other things as we travel. All right, I think we're good to go, you guys. Let's head them up and move them out. Um, so we are working towards this area, so we're basically going east by northeast from here. And let's do it. Why can't I see oh no west, how about it how about you get your directions right, OG? <laughs> oh, oh shit, that's Kirby. These guys just they don't make any noise, man. So they just startled the bejeebus out of me. Now, here's here's one thing that's, you know, I, I've mentioned this before, and it's, it's probably obvious to at least those of you who are um, have been playing the game for a while, but what really makes this dangerous is it's not that I can't kill the cougar or the hyena. It's that if that guy's nearby when they attack and then I defend myself, then he attacks me. That's what makes it really dangerous. So it's, it's a little bit sketchy <laughs> with these elephants around, man. Because uh, this is a three skull mission, and it, uh, it I, I, I don't want to say I struggled at the very beginning, but it was definitely not as easy as getting going, you know, in the forest. So let's just put it that way. But, I mean, we still made it happen, of course, but yeah, not quite as easy. All right, let's replenish our um, squash and fish. And I've also got fish on the toolbar for healing food, too. And that gives us a decent amount of health and a little bit of extra stamina to boot. And there he is again. All right. We'll skin for XP, but I'm not getting resources off these guys for now. Well, you know what, though? We really should be grabbing the bones. If we, if this ends up being a, a big build prospect, we're going to want all the bones we can get for epoxy. So, yeah, I'll start keeping that. I'm not going to go back for what we've already killed, though. All right, so we are moving towards the west, not the east, the west. We got a big old cliff in front of us, so we're going to have to figure out the best way to go around said cliff. Um, looks like it's going to be shorter going this way. Yeah, I saw you over there, man. Another one. Pack of cougars. I don't know. Cougars don't run in packs. Lions run in prides. So do cougars run in prides? Cougars are solitary animals in real life. I don't think they group up like that. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I think that's probably correct. Okay, we'll go around this butte this way. So this quest wants us to build a structure or set of structures to get up to the Riverlands. I wonder if those structures need to stay in place so we can use them in the future. You know, kind of like um, when we opened up that cave, then it stayed opened. So based upon that possibility, I didn't just piss off an elephant, did I? Uh, based upon that possibility, I'm thinking whatever we build sh probably should be made out of stone and, excuse me, you know, should be fairly substantial. That's what I'm thinking.
Okay, so I'm starting to wonder if the marker on the map is actually where we're supposed to place um, a scanner, which, by the way, I haven't found yet <laughs> either. So and the reason I think that is because if we look at the map, there's some grassland area. Well, no, it looks like we can should be able to get up through there. I think. I don't know. Let's just go check it out. Maybe this way? Yeah. Ooh, that's going to get us back into the forest area. Okay. Well, technically, this is still Riverlands. If you look in the upper right-hand corner of my screen, it says we are now in the Riverlands. But the environment looks a lot like the forest. What the? Oh, that's just a boar. <laughs> that scared me. <coughs> okay. Well, we got up here, so let's move towards the objective area. Now we got to go this way. Okay. It's nice to be back in the forest because at least we can get the resources that we need. Ah, oh, there's a damn bear. Of course there is. Of course there is. We could, we should be able to take him, but it's always a risky business this early when we don't have, you know, guns or higher level bows and stuff. Sometimes, though, when I hear what I think is a bear, it's actually a bison or a buffalo because they they kind of sound similar. So that just goes back out to the desert again. Looks like a big ravine or something there. Okay. Invisible mountain wall there. Push me away. There's a buffalo down there. I don't want to tell you your job, but if you build a way up that face, sad images look like you'd have a clean run all the way to the Riverlands. Easy for me to say. You're the one's got to do it. Okay. What face exactly are we talking about? Up here? All right, let's go here and look at the map. Oh, here's the Okay, here's our um scanner thing back that way we can still it looks like we could still go up this way so let's keep or, or wait can we maybe we can't is it this face he's talking about hmm it must be because the map seems to indicate that we should be able to get through here, but obviously we can't. All right, can we get up here? Refresh our buffs here. It's interesting that it doesn't actually show the ridge. I 
I'm just trying to get a sense of where the best place to do this is going to be. It's going to be right in that area there, directly to the west. I mean, should we start from down there or start from up here? This is a little higher, but it also looks like the cliff is higher on this side too. But maybe when we get to that point, we still have to build up even more than that. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But I like the idea because it's something new that we haven't done yet. Total new experience. Let's get back this way and look. I don't know. It seems to me like we probably want to just try and go right up this middle area here. So probably just starting right here and heading on up. So I'm thinking, you know, stone stairwell, you know, just a zigzagging stairwell that switch, you know, does switchbacks. I just don't know exactly how high up we got to go, though. So, all right, this is cool. This is very cool. I'm stoked to do this. But, guys, uh, that is it for um, this episode. We are out of time. So I'm going to... I'm going to build a base, and we're going to build a stone base this time. Did I literally leave my oxygen back in? I, I did. I left my oxygen back at the cave. Oh, my goodness. I cannot take me anywhere. The first thing I'm going to do, guys, is run all the way back to that cave and get my oxygen. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Kill me. All right. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to go do that first. And then I need to find some oxide for the meantime. I'm going to do that first. I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to set up a, a, a real base. Uh, a, a, make it out of stone. And um, I don't know if we necessarily need to go into tier 4 for this. So we probably won't. I'll probably, you know, make the machine bench. And maybe, you know, maybe make a, a gun and a bolt rifle if we even need that. I don't know. Uh, but the main thing we're going to need, of course, is the masonry bench in order to, to build this stone pathway up there. So I'm really excited to do this. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And don't forget to pick up your oxygen bottle when you head out on a long journey when you're in the Canyonlands. It's not a good idea. All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.